Hey everyone, it's your friendly gaming aficionado Munis here, welcoming you back to another gaming insight where we shed light onto all things CSGO and CS2 related. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more awesome content. Today, we're diving deep into the world of CSGO skins, specifically focusing on the concepts of floats and wear. My goal here is to help you understand what these are, how they work, and how they can be used in investing to maximize your gaming wealth. So what is a float in CSGO? Essentially, it's a value that determines the skin condition. Float values are like a wear meter for your skins, assigned randomly when you unbox them, and they fall between 0 and 1. Here's how it breaks down. From best to worst, you have factory new, which is between 0 and 0.07, you have minimal wear, which is from 0.07 to 0.15. Then you have field tested, which is between 0.15 to 0.38. After that, you have well worn, which is between 0.38 to 0.45. And lastly, you have battle scarred, which is between 0.45 up to 1. These values add another layer of variety to skins in the same group, making some look more worn out or battle scarred than others. This is crucial when choosing skins for investment because a better condition usually means higher value, although some exceptions exist. Remember, these flow values are fixed, playing more doesn't wear down your skin. Now let's look at a slightly more advanced aspect of CSGO floats. Not all skins range from 0 to 1. For instance, Op Fade has a float value between 0 to 0 0.07, only common in factory new condition, while Op Asimov ranges from 0.18 to 1, maxing out at minimal wear. In terms of investment, floats become interesting. Some skins are actually rarer, hence more valuable, in worse conditions. In the complex economy of CSGO, rarity can sometimes overtake condition. That is why, when picking skins to invest in, you want to understand their float range and their price ranges. Additionally, you need to check if any of the floats are rarer than the others to the point of a price shift. And before you rush into opening cases to try and unbox a rare skin, as I promised in the last video, I'll be opening 10 cases at the end of each video to prove that cases aren't worth the money. In order to not make the video any longer than it should be, I'll be opening the 10 cases while doing the outro. Before we wrap up, I've got some exciting news for you all. When we'll hit the 2000 subscriber milestone, I'm thrilled to announce a giveaway, a stunning Glock Gamma Doppler Factory New. So make sure to stay tuned for updates on CSGO and CS2 guides. Thank you all for your support and remember to like, share and subscribe if you found this video helpful. This is Muniz signing off.